Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. So day 10 will take us to the 24th of May and we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the Accenture Fair. So it's just ensembles, maybe we'll try and look at weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four. It gets us towards the middle part of June. I'll get on back for you in a moment. Just say that first. A bit of say was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released the uh, extended European outlook that came back. Uh, this week, and uh, we've uh, also released the uh, second update for spring, Bank Holiday Weekend as well, actually. So, it's been a busy day. Gaz uh, is catching up with uh, some of the uh, content, but was a bit behind with. Um, so, check out all today's bits. Thank you so much for doing that. No, live stream for this 10 to 14 day. I had been intending to do uh, a live 10 to 14 day today, but uh, because I couldn't do a 10 to 14 day video yesterday, because I was at Birmingham at the hospital there, uh, and didn't get home until, it was nothing serious by the way, but um, uh, you know, it's an interesting appointment, I'll probably uh, speak about it on the next live stream, which is next Wednesday, but anyway, because I didn't get home until uh, uh, about 7 o'clock last night, um, I couldn't do a 10 to 14 day, I didn't want to go two days, you know, without doing a 10 to 14 day video upload, so uh, I thought we'd better uh, do a video uh, today rather than a live stream, but next live stream will be next Wednesday. Which will be a 10 to 14 day and uh, including some long range on that as well. I hope that's all right with everyone. Uh, so please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. We only put around 15 one by subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 19 point k So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. We're so close to 19 point k now. Thank you so much, for everyone. Right, let's start off with the latest wind flow map from EarthNoSchool.net showing uh, that uh, we're bringing bringing, I should say, uh, the wind in from an east to uh, northeasterly direction. So it's a bit fresher out there today, but a lovely day, glorious sunshine here. I think these uh, east winds are dragging in uh, some low cloud and missing up though onto the east coast. So for the next few days, we're going to have like cloud rolling in from the east uh, overnight, burning back then uh, to uh, the coast during the day. So uh, western areas will get the best of the sunshine, but even in central and eastern areas, you can expect that cloud to burn off through uh, the mornings. Central in temperature is uh, currently sitting at 12.5. It's on its way up again. That's 1.4 degrees above 61 to 99 average. It's provisional to yesterday to the uh, 13th of May. These are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles. So the next couple of weeks, we're at Birmingham today. We would have been uh, looking at Birmingham if we'd been uh, live this evening. So, um, up rare temperature going to be above average for the next uh, week, a uh, warm week to come. Uh, there is a change, though, as we go through into the final week of May. We see those upper air temperatures coming down, either reverting close to average or maybe even going uh, slightly below average. In one or two places, precipitation-wise, well, we see a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, next week. Perhaps more in the way of precipitation, though, when we get into that last week of May. So, it really is a case of, uh, uh, of like, the first week, dry and warm. Second week, a lot cooler and, potentially, a lot more unsettled. The question is, how seriously do we take this change? So, we've been here before, several times through the spring. You'll remember, but around Easter, or just before Easter, at one point, it looked like we could have a washout Easter. It never materialised. The pattern did change a little bit, and we went slightly more unsettled and cooler over Easter. But nothing like what was signalled you know, uh, leading up to Easter. So I have been here before. Is this the change? Is this the break in the high pressure? Is this a significant pattern flip? Or is it a case that uh, the GFS is overdoing things? I think we need to wait a few more days to, uh, you know, firm up which way uh, that goes. We probably will get a change in the pattern, I think, going up towards um, the bank holiday. So, we may turn and set, but the question is, how far do we go with that? Hmm. Temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days, up to the 19th of May. Significantly warmer than average for the north and the west, nearer normal further south and east. It's a 10-day temperature anomaly, a little bit above average in both areas. 10 to 14-day temperature, temperature anomaly, though, is coming down, actually reverting a little bit cooler for those more southern and southwestern areas. 
Seven day precipitation anomaly up to the 21st of May is significantly drier than average. The eight to 14 day precipitation anomaly just a little bit on the drier side. 10 to 16 day, uh, which gets us to the 30th of May, more or less a month, month's end. Uh, still a bit dry around the north, but uh, going more unsettled further southwards. Significant changes there. Uh, as we go through the next couple of weeks. Right, we've got to go through the chart data and uh, see how many of these models are turning things unsettled into the last week of May. Starting off with the UK Met Euro run uh, on Saturday, 17th May, high pressure dominates over and to the north coach. That high pressure still in control into Sunday and is maintained through into uh, next week as well. So basically, we're high and dry through to the middle of next week. The only difference is that the high just shifting a little bit further to the west, allowing more of a northerly uh, to come in. So that might deliver a few showers into the east. But other than that, we're basically anti-cyclonic. I can't again with the high pressure dominating uh, across the country on Saturday and the highest still in control on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, through into the middle of next week. It's all high pressure, uh, really. By next Wednesday, the high pressure is away to the north of the west. Somewhat lower pressure is trying to start edging up, though, uh, from the south there. So that might deliver a few showers into the south of the east. But basically, we're still dry up to the middle of next week with ICOM. Uh, the KMA, again, with that high pressure dominating over the weekend and on into next week as well. However, around day 10, lower pressure tries to come in from off the But check this out. The high pressure fights back down the south. That's what I'm talking about, you see. So uh, that's what happened over Easter, you'll remember. At one point, Easter, uh, I keep emphasizing it, Easter was signaled to potentially be a washout. It didn't materialise, and the reason it didn't materialise, materialise that the high pressure was just stronger than the models thought. So the KMA, well, it adds a twist into the plot again. Definitely trying to keep that high pressure holding on there to Bank Holiday Monday, 26th May. It means that for the north and west, it probably is rather showery. Oh, Bank Holiday, but the south and east should be mainly dry. And then uh, we've got GFS Midnight Run looking like this. Well, high pressure dominating through to the middle of next week, but then breaking down just in time for the Bank Holiday. That's uh, the uh, getaway, day of the getaway, Friday, 23rd of May, with low pressure then coming in from off the Atlantic. And then check this out, turn properly unsettled. And a lot cooler over Bank Holiday weekend as well. We aimed up the GFS Midnight Run with low pressure part to our west southwest, and that'll be throwing up showers along as well as of rain. But you think that's unsaid, just have a look at six there. So, again, we got that high pressure dominating through to the middle of next week. Uh, but uh, by the second half of next week, high pressure breaks and low pressure then heads in. So, by uh, next Friday, 23rd of May, got low pressure right over the top of the country. And that deepens like mad, actually. So, uh, well, that looks actually quite autumnal, doesn't it? Uh, nine, I think 975 millibar low, sitting in the North Sea there. It is a dark board by day 10, 24th of May. Um, no, so, obviously, northerly winds, uh, very cool temperatures, wet and windy. Goodness gracious me, could the pattern flip that dramatically? Yes, it could. That's the answer. Yes, it could. But will it? That's the question. But uh, we don't yet know, I don't think. Um, and beyond that, well, low pressure keeps on coming. So uh, we have an attempt at building the ridge back up to the east, but it's low pressure uh, that continues to drive in from off the Atlantic, really up to the end of May. So certainly much more unsettled last week of the month there. Is that the GFS going over the top, or is the GFS onto something? Let me know in the comments what you think. We've still got the GEM and the ECM to go, though. Uh, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos, content, live streams, etc. Et 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 uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Thank you so much, so, so, everyone, uh, for doing that. 15 subscribers gets us 19 points of a cake. Good, good stuff. That'd be absolutely awesome. Awesome. And if you consider giving a little donation, guys, that would be very helpful as well. This is our PayPal page. You can find the link to our PayPal page in the description with the video. So just uh, come to this page, sign the PayPal account, and uh, then uh, you can donate whatever you would like. We will give you a shout out in the vids. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that for Gals Web. It's helping to pay for the channel and for the content. Thank you so much, everyone. Love it. Love it. Thanks so much.
<laughs> right, GM, again, with that high, I'm so sorry, everyone, high pressure dominating the weather uh, over the country for the weekend. Uh, we bring in more of an east north east so not going to be a heat wave, but should, should still be uh, very pleasant. I think through the weekend and into next week. Uh, later next week, well, we probably more of a northeast. I could bring some showers into the east. Otherwise, probably still mainly dry, but certainly a bit cooler. That's a setup at day 10. Looks like we're starting to revert to a westerly then with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. And then the ECM uh, sort of rounds it all off with, again, high pressure... In control through um, next through weekend into uh, next week, gradually weakening the high pressure as we approach the bank holiday. That's uh, Friday, 23rd, uh, week on Friday. So then we, day nine, then we are sort of um, a little, turning a little bit showery. I think lower pressure, if not necessarily low pressure, that's day 10. Uh, low pressure out to the north of the west. And then through the bank holiday weekend, has a more unsettled look to it. That's bank holiday Monday. Looks like we're pushing an area of low in for the Atlantic, then bringing showers, longer spells of rain. Now, the ECM is also going in the same direction as the GFS, but it isn't doing it as dramatically so. It's not yet, anyway, uh, whipping up big dartboard lows and whatnot. But it is turning things more unsettled there. So possibly the evidence is growing for uh, a change to more unsettled conditions through the last week of May. But I still want to wait a couple of days more, I think, um, you know, given how strong high pressure has been through this spring so far. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Uh, a lot of dry weather to come up to day 10, and a lot of dry weather to come over the next few days. By day 10, we'll start to see some showers beginning to break through. And we know beyond that, this wet weather out of the Atlantic will then start to advance eastwards if the ECM is right. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 24th of May. 23 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge from southwest up to the north, mostly dry with that. 18 with low pressure to our east. High pressure is out to the west. Winds will be coming in from rather cool uh, northerly direction with that. And 10 again with low pressure over the country. So if you, so the majority of options are 23, still with the ridge, but if you put the 18 together with the 10, uh, that gets you to 28. So probably the majority of options is actually unsettled at day 10. Which is a change. Uh, in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll go to the 29th of May. 20 members of the ECM ensembles again with low pressure over the top of the country. 17 with low pressure again over the top of the country. And 14 with low pressure just like the south of the country. All options upset, unsettled uh, at two weeks out. So I think as we're going through this video, um, the evidence is stacking up, I think, for a change in the last week of May to unsettled conditions. A Flip could be on the way, a pattern flip. CFSB2, finally, beats a 500 millibar height. So I'll just break it down. It's interesting, isn't it? Very, very intriguing uh, at the moment. Uh, so, these, uh, this is from the CFS. Uh, beats a 500 millibar height. So I'll just break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 14th to the 20th of May. But next week, we'll have high pressure over the top of the country, mostly high and dry. Week two will be the 21st, 27th of May. High pressure ridging in from the Atlantic. Um, uh, into northern uh, from the Atlantic into Western Europe, so mostly dry with that as well. Could be a bit cool, winds coming in from the north east. Week three is going to be the 28th of May to the 3rd of June. High pressure over Scandinavia, winds coming in from the east. Could that still be keeping us mostly dry, though? That's another <laughs> twist of a plot. And then week four is the 4th to the 10th of June. Men low pressure has come through. Uh, high pressure still over Scandinavia, but we're under the influence of low pressure then. So it takes until week four really to do it, but it does eventually turn us unsettled. Hmm, that's another that's another twist in the plot. <laughs> I don't know which way this is going to go, but it's very very uh, intriguing, and uh, we're going to keep you posted with uh, our videos over the next few days. Are we going to get a flip um, in the last week of May?
Mm, I wonder. Right, time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to post about gas flows. Get them to subscribe to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6M UK weather forecast, and there'll be a 10 14 day as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.